Hello everyone and welcome back to our lesson on securing APIs with Amazon Cognito. In the first part of our lesson, we went ahead and deployed our API and tested out our API to make sure we were getting a response back from our Lambda function. In this part of our lesson, we're going to go ahead and deploy or create a Cognito user pool and then we're going to use that user pool to lock down our API. So let's go ahead and get started. In the AWS Management Console, I'm over here on the Amazon Cognito homepage, and I'm going to click Create User Pool. For Configure Sign-In Experience, I'm going to leave everything as is. I'm just going to check this, select Username. I'm going to hit Next. For Configure Security, re security Requirements, I'm going to leave everything as is. I'm just going to disable Multi-Factor Authentication. And then I'm going to hit next. For configure signup experience, everything here looks good. I want to make sure this enable self registration is checked. It is. And so I'm going to scroll all the way down and I'm going to hit next. For configure message delivery, I'm going to send emails with Cognito. And everything here looks good. I'm going to hit next. With uh, for this integrate your app. For the user pool name, I'm going to call it my app user pool. I'm going to have Cognito provide a UI for my users to sign in, and we'll see what that looks like here in a second. For the domain, for my sign in domain, I'm going to call it my app user pool XYZ. For the app client name, I'm going to call it my app. Now for the allow callback URLs, I'm going to go back over here to our API gateway. I'm going to copy the uh, invoke URL. I'm going to paste that in here. Uh, and then I'm going to add on the backslash home uh, resource. Then I'm going to click on this advanced app client settings. I'm going to select the admin user pass off as well as the uh, user pass off. I'm going to scroll all the way down here to open ID connects and I'm going to select all options. Then I'm going to hit next. Now we're on review and create. Everything here looks good. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and hit create user pool. All right, so now we have the my app user pool created. I'm going to click on the user pool and I'm going to click on the app integration. I'm going to scroll down to the or excuse me, I'm going to click on the app client in analytics and click on the my app and where it says hosted UI, I'm gonna click on the view hosted UI. This is what the hosted UI that Cognito pro, uh, provides us looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a user. And I'm gonna hit sign up. So now Cognito has provided us or sent a verification code to that email. So I have the verification code. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. And I'm going to hit confirm account. And as you can see here, we are redirected to the Lambda. Hello from Lambda. All right, wonderful. So let's go back over here to our API gateway and let's lock down that endpoint. On our API, let's click on authorizers create an authorizer my app authorizer for authorizer type se select the uh, cognito select your my app user pool and for token source select authorization or type in excuse me authorization and then hit this create authorizer 
wonderful now we want to head back over to our resources I'm going to click on our get resource or our home resource and for method request settings let's go ahead and edit that for authorization let's select my app authorizer scroll all the way to the bottom and hit save wonderful so let's go ahead and redeploy our API okay so our API has been deployed these changes may take a second for our API to propagate so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video okay so our changes have now propagated for our home endpoint and as you can see here when we try to access that same endpoint we get message unauthorized okay so it looks like our authorizer from Cognito is now protecting this endpoint and in the next video we're going to see how we can regain access um, to this endpoint by means of an authentication token that's going to be provided to us by Cognito alright I'll see you there